So I can check the seal on this bowl as well. What I'm looking for is to make sure that this, this seat hasn't been compromised. So primarily I'll still use the same ball I took out of there. I can screw that back in there. You don't need to tighten it up with torque on it. The torque on these is 60 foot pound when you are in a workshop environment. So now stand that piston up. Now I can use this oil if I wish to. And you see it floods out there. But what I'm looking for is, is it coming out the bottom of this? It's coming out the edges here out of these venturis, but it's not coming out of the centre. So just to make sure that you understand that, if I put the screwdriver up there, move the ball, there comes the oil. So the ball's pretty good. So the seat hasn't been compromised. If, however, that ball did leak, what you would do now is you would take that ball out that has been compromised, put it to one side, put the new ball in, put it in the retaining cage, screw that back in, and do the, the same procedure again. And if it continues to leak with a new ball in there, you know you'll have to wipe all this clean and ensure that there are no damage, there is no damage there. If you do find damage, that, that renders this inoperable. There's no point in putting it back together if that's leaking out through the bottom of it. So now what we need to do is take these packings off here. What's the easiest way to get them off? Well, they're caked in paint. Do they come off easily? Of course they don't. So would I use a screwdriver and give them a good old hit with the screwdriver? Probably not a good idea. What I'd do is, if you put that piston stem back in there. Now what I can do is put your foot on the shifter and then you'll open these jaws up so that what you're going to do is you're going to twist those packers on there. So by twisting then I've broken the paint seal. Once I've broken the paint seal then it enables me to actually remove the packers and the retainers. Now, sometimes they'll move easily. You might have to repeat that procedure several times to ensure that you've got them to release from the stem of the retainer. So I can move the packers, look at that, no problems at all. Take that back off there, pinch the retainer on the top, keep twisting it round. You've broken the seal, take it from the, the spanner. Can I get it off now? It's actually moving, and there you go. So you've broken the seal, and you've released the packings off the stem. So there's your retainer, your packings, another retainer, and there's the stem. So all this has to be washed now, cleaned, and that thread has to be extremely clean with no retentive rubbish in there so that it can be screwed up in there with a small amount of Loctite. So these here, in the bin. That's the end of that. Don't leave those existing packings laying around. If you leave them laying around, you've, there's a good chance that you'll get them mixed up and put them back in the machine itself. So get rid of them. Don't need them.